Welling United Freeview is sponsored by Woosa. Okay, here with Jamie, day after a terrific 2-1 victory over Halifax Town. Uh, Jamie, um, everything in a quality, at pet spirit, all in abundance today. Yeah, you know, I think we took the Macclesfield game on to today. Um, you know, I thought we deserved to the lead. I thought, you know, the, the wide players have caused havoc and, and Jamal uh, down the left and, and we created chances, just couldn't seem to, to find the final pass or put in the back of the net. But then I think we've done our best, uh, best to try and miss it, but we eventually scored. Um, and was on top and maybe a great goal from their point of view. I don't see many headers from 20 yards in the top corner, but probably should have dealt with it a little bit better from our point of view defensively. Um, but Friday deserved the win. I think the only small criticism is probably when they went down to 10, we didn't pass it as well as we had done when it was 11 v 11. So maybe we got a little bit nervous just about trying to get over the line. But like you say, the effort and uh, desire was there and the young kids showed you know, what potential they've got. You know, further down the line at this club. Yeah, I was going to say probably when you turned up today and saw the, the, the team lineup, injury ravage, suspensions, it's a real credit to a lot of the youngsters who become men today, really. Yeah, sometimes you know it works in your favour. You know, you looked at the lineup and they're all six foot plus and, and look like a little schoolboy team. But credit to the boys, they've they've dug in and put a great shift in every single one of them. So um, I'm really pleased with them, and uh, it's not easy for a young lad to play at this level. I, I couldn't have done it at 19. So, um, you know, they've got to keep on working hard and keep on developing, but, yeah, I'm pleased. It was always going to be a, a rough physical game and, and Halifax come there and, and done that. We matched them. Want to talk about the sending off, though, your faults? Yeah, definite sending off. Um, you can't stamp on people. And, you know, I, I don't know the lad, but I think he's similar sort of player to Jake um, that we've got. So, sometimes then things happen. Um, you know, we, we've... I, I can't moan, really, because I've done it in the past and... I'm not one to talk, so yeah, it was a sending off, and uh, obviously they, they'll deal with that. It seemed as though they targeted Harry Butman right from the start. Obviously, I was, he's our playmaker, but they were always giving a little niggle here and there, and obviously he was the one that got stamped on. Well, yeah, I mean, he played on Tuesday night at Halifax, so no doubt their gaffer would have been there watching the game, and he, he had a good game, so uh, he's a key player for us, and you know, teams are going to do that, you know, like we do with other teams. You know, you, you look at their strengths and weaknesses, and you try and stop what they're good at. So. Um, yeah, he dealt with it, it's going to happen. You get on with it and you keep playing and keep passing the ball and try and get results. So we took lead 1 0 um, just before half time. Um, I felt deservedly at the, at the time it was a deserved lead. Yeah, definitely. I thought we was on the front foot. I thought we played some good stuff. We looked a threat, especially in the wide areas, um, and deservedly took the lead. I think learning curve is probably see the next five minutes out to half time and then going 1 0 and give yourself a, you know, a platform to work on for the second half. But we didn't. And, no, it was a good header, but I think it could have been avoided. Uh, but then we come out fast and got an early goal, so um, yeah, pleased with that. Yeah, when that does, you know, you do go in at one or half time when really we deserve to be leading. How as a manager do you have to adapt and what's your team talk? Yeah, you have to pick them up a little bit because sometimes you know you can you can gain your show a little bit and feel sorry for yourself. Um, and like I say, after a good 40 minutes, so you know we just made sure that we, we spoke to the right people and um, we come out again with the good tempo and and good start in our play and we've done that and deservedly scored a really good goal, some good build up play and pleased for Charlie to get off the mark. Yeah and Jamal Fyfield got the sponsors man of the match and I felt as though he, he really revelled in that captain's role today down the left and he gave a bit of calmness to the game. Yeah I think he's been superb you know all season. Um, the last two games at left back you know I think he's been exceptional um, and I think the two young centre halves done well for 19 so yeah, I think Jamal played well. I know he's pleased with performance. Obviously, we've lost him for Tuesday now because of five yellows, which is disappointing. Um, but he's had some good performances and he's got to bounce back, you know, when he comes back in the week after. Let's talk about that yellow card because it was, it was right in front of us down here and it was for something really, really silly. Your, your thoughts on the ref? Yeah, um, in fairness to the ref, I thought he talked pretty well to the players during the game. Um, you know, and uh, it is hard. I, I, it's, it's hard for me to comment because um, I'm not the right person to do that but um, I thought it was a little bit harsh and uh, we've picked up some bookings this year that I felt have been harsh but um, as they say it comes from the top so there you go. we'll move on Charlie Penny got his first goal for the wings today um, I've got in my notes here Penny ran his heart out you agree? yeah works his socks off we've got to be careful with him because he's been out for a while and it's, it's easy to get carried away and keep playing him for 90 minutes and um, you know uh, he puts in a good shift he causes the back four problems and like I said, we don't want to overplay him and then we're back to square one with him. So, um, just changed it around. Obviously, hopefully, you know, he's recovered in time and goes again on Tuesday. 
and could and should probably made it 3-1. Kieran had a really good chance at the end, um, and it would have been rough justice if we hadn't got three points today. Yeah, I mean, Kieran probably done the right thing, headed it back across goal, just obviously missed the target. Um, probably, you know, would expect him to score, but again, he's in the right areas. And then H has had one right at the end where the keeper's pulled off a save, good save. So, yeah, I don't think it would have been justice if we didn't get the three points. Um, deserved it. Um, only four subs on the bench today. A little concerned or not really? Well, I think we get Joe and Jake back for Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, we're light uh, and we've got some injuries uh, and they're not short-term ones. Uh, obviously, other than ben, like Ben's back in a couple of weeks, but you look at Faz and that, I think that for the season. You know, so um, it's good for the younger ones to get on the bench. You know, I think we had two 18-year-olds on the bench, uh, so it's good for the youth section that if there are players good enough and we're short, we're, we're happy to put them on the bench. Bench. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, one or two are okay for Tuesday, and we we'll get a couple back. Uh, Jake Gallagher, was it a second suspension today? Yeah, Jake. Um, Got another suspension for swearing at referee as he left the pitch, which for me is unheard of. You know, if every time someone swore at referee, we'd have players suspended all the time. Um, so he got an extra one game ban and a fine for that at Dartford um, when leaving the pitch. No one in the squad today. Um, an update on, on yeah, Malik one. was still waiting on his international clearance. It took an age to get done. I, I don't know why it seems to be quicker elsewhere, but um, I just spoke to Piggy and I think we have to reapply again on Monday. So. Um, hopefully that should be done sooner rather than later because obviously you could have added him into the squad today. Yeah. Any? Um, obviously we are like any new additions coming in or is that it for the while? Yeah. Well, at the minute we haven't got the finances to bring anyone in, um, so hopefully we can get one or two back and you know we can stop picking up silly little yellow cards and then have a, a full squad to pick from. We've extended Michael Chambers' loan for a month. I think Bush is back after Tuesday, so you know we're slowly getting the squad back. I think you know we would like to bring another forward. Um, but um, unless it's, it's dirt cheap or free, then I'm not in a position to do that. Obviously, um, Harry Button played for England C in a week, yep. and he's uh, he's making headlines at the moment. Um, or obviously, his goals. Um, where do you see his future? Hopefully, at Welling, obviously. Uh, uh, there's league interest, you know, and um, we'll have to see what happens over the next week. I think the deadline's Thursday. Um, so he's done really well. You know, people want goal scoring midfielders. I think it shows that you know if you come to this club and you work hard and you knuckle down and you play well, then you get seen and, and you move on. Um, I think we we'll have to assess what happens over the weekend. Like I say, there is interest in league clubs and they've shown interest in the last couple of days. So um, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm pleased for H. He's done exceptionally well. Um, I would say he'll definitely be in the squad on Tuesday. After that, I'm not sure. It's not affected his performances in any way, he's just kept his focus, hasn't he? Yeah, good lads. You know, um, he's been a pleasure to work with up until now. Hopefully, that can continue. But uh, he's lively around the dressing room, he's a good character, scored a lot of goals. Um, and, you know, if, like I said before, if you work hard, you know, I think we've had six or seven move on now. So um, I think that's got to be a plus if, if the young players are looking at our club and I'm not sure if they want to come here or not. Um, I think that's that's shown that you can progress from here. Should the worst happen and Harry does move on, would that allow you to free some money up for to bring players in, or have you not even considered that yet? Yeah, well, obviously we'll use his wage um, to bring someone in, if that's the case. Um, depending on what the clubs have shown interest, they might have some players that we might be interested in to bring in on loan, you know, as part of the deal. So, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. You know, we've got a list of players that we like and ones that we'd like to bring in. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with Harry you know, in the next four or five days. In the press this week, you called the last couple of weeks your hardest in management yeah. with, with Welling. How vital was this win, given that? Yeah, it's, it's maybe a bit over the top with toughest time, but don't, I don't like losing, and we've lost too many games in the last four or five weeks, as simple as that. Um, I think for me, it tests me and um, gives me valuable experience on how to deal with situations. Um, so, yeah, it's not been easy. I don't like going home on a Saturday, like supporters and, and losing, and you know, you to think about it for two or three days, and you have to go again. You know, I've got belief in these boys that we can move up the table. Um, some people get carried away and expect us to be higher than what we are. I think people have to realise that we've got a young squad of players that are learning the game still. Um, but 
yeah, it's, um, hopefully now we've, we've two unbeaten with four points out of six. Tough game Tuesday. We've just got to keep grinding results out, keep trying to pass and play like we have done. And um, hopefully we start looking up rather than down. Thanks for your time, Jay. No Cheers. Worries, Thank you, mate. They're set up with a game plan to target me. Um, after the first tackle, if I'm honest with you, as soon as it happened, I thought I was going to have to come off because my legs come up like a golf ball, you know. But um, I had a word with the lad afterwards and he said, listen, I've been, been told to do a job. Subscribe to Wings TV now for HD highlights.